Hey guys, Nicholas the Reactor here, and today, I'm going to be talking about from the final night of the audition, we have seen some of these amazing contestants who made it to Hollywood and not made it to Hollywood. Before the end of the video, I will be talking about Hollywood Week, even though Hollywood Week is tonight. So today, I'm going to be talking about the last few amazing contestants who made it to Hollywood and not made it to Hollywood. And what a ride this is to see all the auditions for the past couple of days. I mean, we have seen the auditions all the way till the last week. And now, here we are now, taking things off for Hollywood week. I'm going to be talking about that in a minute. Until the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get this started with another video. Um, we got ourselves another, so our first contestant of the night who comes from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, named Gabby Barrett. Gabby Barrett's performance was really great. I mean, her performance was not too bad, and she sounded really good for Gabby Barrett. I will look forward to see what she does during Halloween tonight. However, and I've never been to Pittsburgh, though. I may be from Baltimore because the truth is, we Ravens fans are rivals with the Pittsburgh Steelers. We have the greatest rivalries in the history of the National Football League. I do respect Ben Roethlisberger because he is one of the greatest quarterbacks of all freaking time. Way better than Tom Brady, in my opinion. But moving on. Uh, Gabby Byrne from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Steel City, a great city there. She did an amazing job on her performance. And they decided to give her a yes, which means she is going to Hollywood for Gabby Byrne, which means we will be seeing her tonight for her performance. Um, Our next contestant of the night it's going to be Caitlin Lucia, who was next. Uh, I do remember that Caitlin did perform uh, Katy Perry's new song. I mean, Katy Perry's song. And she did an amazing job on Katy's song. I mean, you know, Katy Perry's song. And I'm really excited to find out what she does. But Caitlin did a, a, an amazing job as well. So with that being said, they also gave her a yes, which means she is... They are sending her to Hollywood as well, which we'll be seeing her tonight for both the solo and group rounds. It starts on a Monday and it starts on a Sunday, plain and simple. Now, before we talk about Drake Milligan, we got some of the three remaining people who might be singing uh, Elvis Presley's song. Um, We got Amelia Presley. She was singing Elvis' song. We got uh, Billy Crunk. He was singing Elvis song, and then we got um Bailey Eubanks singing up uh, Presley song. I mean, we got three people singing one of the song choices. I mean, it's been a huge moment for that. But after their, but after they were made one of their performances and stuff, our next contestant from uh, I think he's from Texas, right? Our next contestant happens to be um Drake Milligan, who comes from Texas. And I ain't gonna lie, dude. Uh, Drake's performance was really good. And for some reason, this happens to be an amazing performance for some reason. And um, I'm telling you this right now. I really enjoy Drake's performance. So my, for, some, for that, they gave him a yes, which means they're sending him to Hollywood for Drake Milligan. Now... Let me get on with either from one of the first or second time during for all the other contestants, right? Do you know that one of my one of the greatest singers in my opinion, known as Katy Perry, loves to eat during her while she's sitting during the judges' table? Like, you see her eating pizza, all that other stuff she do during during her auditions and stuff. Like, number one. She happens to be one of the coolest women to ever step on. I may be, like, I am a huge fan of her songs and stuff. But let me tell you this. She loves to eat every time we see some of her performance. It's like everything. It, ha it was like the first or second time we seen her eating during f in front of the other contestants. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, Katy Perry is something else. I mean, I'm a huge fan of her. And she is like... In my opinion, one of the best singers ever to ever step foot in. I mean, are you a Katy Cat or a Swifty? You decide. I mean, any singers do you like more? So with that being said, 
Our next contestant is Milan Shamble. And in my opinion, Milan Shamble, she did a good job of her performance during her audition. And Milan's performance was really great. And Milan got a yes, which means Milan's going to Hollywood. And she got lucky on that one because I really enjoyed of what Milan's trying to do. So we'll see what happens during Hollywood Week anytime soon by maybe tonight or this upcoming Sunday during the group rounds. Which I'm looking forward for that. And for the second time this week, we've seen some other contestants too. I mean, you've seen some of the other contestants. I think, like, I ain't gonna lie, dude. We've seen some other contestants who tried their best, but it happens all the time for all, all, all the other good singers. But our next contestant happens, and this, and this gotta be a woman, by the way. Our next contestant happens to be Lee Vazzy, alright? Now, Lee Vazzy, her performance was good, too. And I really believe that this happens to be one of the best performances, in my opinion. Because Lee happens to be sounding incredible during her performance. So, with that being said, they gave her a yes, which means they're sending her to Hollywood. Oh my god. Guys. I've seen three other contestants who didn't do well. I'm going to tell you the name of these three remaining contestants who did not make it to Hollywood. Which I'm going to be talking about all the way till right now. It's starting off with Tori and Teasley singing um, CeeLo Green's song. You know the same song that CeeLo Green did? And, dude, my answer is, it was a worse it was one of the worst auditions I have ever seen from him. I'm glad they gave him a no. That has to be the worst audition I ever seen from him. And then um Lucy Clearwater, it wasn't her performance either. So, in my opinion, they gave her a no, which means she didn't make it to Hollywood. And then finally, during this upcoming uh and then we got ourselves another one. Um his name is uh, Jerome Earbanks. They gave him they gave him a no, and it wasn't his best performance either. So they didn't send him to Hollywood. I never liked Tori and Teasley's performance because, like, really, it has to be the worst performance from him. I'm sorry, you know his audition. I'm not kidding. It's his his audition was the worst. I'm not stupid. It is. Tori and Teasley's audition was the worst. Don't care. It was a no for him. So, I'm glad the judges gave him a no. So, with that being said, they all, our next contestant from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, named um, Michael J. Woodard. Now, Michael happens to be, he. I think he's a bowling alley attendant. Yeah, he's a bowling alley attendant. Um, His performance was really good. And... In my opinion, his performance was really good too. So, however, I really enjoyed it. And, however, they gave him a yes, which means they're sending him to Hollywood. And he did an amazing job, however, for a bowling attendant because I really love what he was trying to do. But we'll see what he does when he's in Hollywood Week anytime soon when I see him on Maybe either by the solo route or the group rounds anytime soon. It doesn't even matter. But we'll see what happens. Now once again, we've seen some of the other contestants who doing everything they can too. Like any great performance, any worst auditions. But more other contestants we have seen so far. From all the other contestants we have seen. Now, moving on, we got ourselves a good one, and her name is Riel Rathbon. Her name is Riel Rathbon. Now, Riel Rathbon, her performance was really good, too. Now, I really love what she was trying to do, but her performance was really good. And I really cannot wait to see what happens if, if she's in Hollywood Week or not, because 
Remember, it's going to kick things off tonight, which I'm going to talk about during the end of the video. Um, I really will look forward for this, but for some reason, they gave her a yes. So they sent her to Hollywood. Simple as that, because her performance was really good. Oh, we got ourselves a good one, all right? Our next contestant, who is now in Tennessee, named Carly Martha. Now, Carly Martha's performance was one of my favorite performances of the night last night. I liked her original song she did, even though Katie Turner's original song will always be the best. I'm going to be talking about her in a minute because you know I'm a huge fan of her besides any other singers. But before I'm, but moving on, um, Carly Moffat's performance was really good and her original song was really good because this woman, yeah, she's, yeah, she, I think I, I forgot how old she is. This woman happens to be an amazing singer-songwriter and I really love what uh, Carly's trying to do. And I'm going to give this a big thumbs up because it happens to be one of the best performances of the night. So they gave her a yes, which means they're sending Carly to Hollywood, which I'm going to look for for her performance anytime soon. Because Carly, I'm going to see what she does. I'm going to find out what song she's going to sing. And it should be intense. So anytime soon. Now, our next contestant who I saw last night is going to be Anya, Anya Rose Lawson. Now, Anya Rose Lawson is not too bad either. Even though she sounded great, but unfortunately, it wasn't her best performance either. Because, I don't know why the judges gave her a no for some reason, because I thought her performance was good. But unfortunately, they gave her a no, which means she did not make it to Hollywood. I thought she was good. Like, why would you... Wow, man. I really hope she comes back for another season. Because Anya Rose Lawson is really good in my opinion. But, well, it was a no for her. Which means she did not make it to Hollywood. Alright, here we go. Um, we are one step closer to the end. Um, our next contestant is Samuel Swanson. Now, Samuel Swanson... His performance was good, too. Yeah, it's a guy. Samuel's a guy's name. Um, his performance was really good. And for some reason, this happens to be a great performance, for, in my opinion. So, I believe they gave him a yes, which means they're sending Samuel to Hollywood. And I really love what he's trying to do, but we'll see what happens during Hollywood Week, during the solo and group rounds, between Monday and next Sunday. Now, they showed some of the other contestants because they did not enjoy some of their performances, which they gave them no's and stuff, or yes and stuff for the other contestants. But, it happens all the time. So, we are one step closer to the end because we only got three contestants I'm going to be talking about soon before we wrap this up. Now, our next contestant is Damio Christian, right? Now, even though he's a rock star, but Daniel's Christian's performance was, in my opinion, not too bad. But I thought they gave him a yes, but unfortunately, it was a no for him. Because his performance was not too bad, but not good. I mean, his, his, it wasn't his best performance, unfortunately. So, they gave him a no, which means he did not make it to Hollywood. Alright, so we only got two more to go, guys. Two more to go before we wrap this up. Because it's going to be a good one. I'm going to be talking about the last contestant in a minute. Because it's about to be amazing for you guys. Before we talk about this. Our next contestant is going to be Journey. Who is another singer from last night. Journey, her performance was good. It was really great. She had a great voice. And I really liked it. And... However, they gave her a yes, which means they're sending her to Hollywood. And I will look forward to see what she does now, now that Aunt Journey is doing everything she can now. Because it's been a huge moment for this. Now, here comes one of my favorite performers from last night so far. Guys, if you guys may recognize him... 
His name is none other than Adam Sanders. If you guys don't recognize him, five years ago, oh, sorry, that was season, that was, I meant, I didn't mean 10. Five years ago, back in 2013, which happens to be one of my favorite years of all time, Adam Sanders decided to audition back in 2013, where Randy Jackson was there, along with the new judges such as Keith Urban, Mariah Carey, and Nicki Minaj. Because the truth is, when he was in Hollywood Week, he didn't make it to the next round. I'm really glad, remember the same season when I was a huge fan of Candace Glover and Angie Miller, who is now Zealand, because I was a huge fan of these amazing female contestants who did an incredible job back in 2013 in season 5. And now, Adam Sanders has changed it from a guy to a woman who is now Ada Vox now. Ada Vox's performance was incredible. This happens to be one of the best, excuse me guys, this happens to be one of the best performances of the, of the night last night. And I really enjoyed Ada's performance. Remember, you can either call him Adam or Ada, whatever you want to call him. It, it, same person. But Ada did an incredible job on her performance last night. And they gave her a golden ticket, which sent her to Hollywood, who was used to be Adam Sanders from five years ago in season 12. I love contestants who likes to come back to go for another shot. You may remember Candace Glover. When, when she came back for another shot from season, excuse me, when she came back from another shot back in 2013, she was the winner of American Idol season, um, season 12. How about Caleb Johnson? When he was the winner, he came back to go for it back in 2013 to become the winner of American Idol season 13 back in 2014. And if Adam, Va and if Adam could do the same thing like Anderson, um, Caleb, that should be interesting. But we'll see what happens soon enough because it's going to be a good one. So with that being said, that concludes the auditions. We're looking forward for Hollywood Week tonight, which is going to kick things off in the solo rounds first, which will kick things off this upcoming um Monday tonight. And I'm looking forward to seeing one of these amazing contestants I'm looking forward to. Like, here are the contestants I'm looking forward to the most. I'm looking forward for Ada Vox, Katie Turner, you know, one of my favorite singers ever because she is funny. I'm telling you, I wrote a fan mail the other time a couple of days ago because I really appreciate it for what Katie told me on Instagram because I did my Instagram story about a couple of days ago. It was on a Thursday, I believe. No, I, I don't know what day it was. Yeah, thank you. She replied to me on a Thursday when she said some nice things to me on a Thursday after what I said during on my Instagram story about Katie. Because I cannot wait to see what she does. Remember, her original song is 21st Century Machine. And if you haven't seen her original song, remember, be sure to subscribe to her YouTube channel and follow her on social media, Twitter, and Instagram. And be sure to, to subscribe to her YouTube channel because she is amazing. And besides Ada and Katie, um, I'm looking forward for Maddie Zahn. I'm looking forward for um, Mary Justine. I'm looking forward for... Um, Effie Pizarro and um, Carly Waffa, Ricky Manning, Noah Davis, Garrett Jacobs, and many more. All these amazing contestants I'm looking forward to. I forgot about Marcio Don Mar Marcy Donaldson, then many more. All these amazing contestants I'm looking forward to tonight. So remember, be sure to be ready. Remember, it's going to kick things off in the solo rounds tonight. And then come Sunday... It's going to kick things off in the group rounds. Because, guys, it's about to go down. The group rounds is when they find out what team they're... What, what they call themselves when they work together as a team. So, I will find out what songs are going to perform during Hollywood Week. Between this Monday tonight and by Sunday next weekend. Because, it's about to be intense. So, be sure to watch it tonight on ABC. By Monday, where we kick things off in Hollywood Week. And that will be it. So, I'm looking forward for this. I mean, these guys are really excited for Hollywood Week. I cannot wait to see all these amazing singers I'm looking forward to. Because it's about to go down. So, with that being said, that concludes my reaction video. I will see you guys tomorrow for my reaction for Hollywood Week. To find out what songs they're performing for Hollywood Week. And find out who's going to the group rounds. 
come Sunday next week. You know, next weekend on Sunday. So, don't forget to hit that like button. Follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat down in the description box for more videos. And I'm looking forward for this. So, I'm going to do my reaction video tomorrow night to find out what songs are going to perform in the solo rounds. And I will do meet, see any of these amazing singers as I can. And that will be it. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow on a Tuesday. And have a great Tuesday, guys. And again, let the Hollywood week begin tonight for the new episode of American... <clears throat> excuse me. For the new episode of American Idol. I'll see you guys tomorrow on Tuesday. And have a great Monday, guys.